how should you structure your data team? That is the topic of this week's CarCast. But before we get into this, I must tell you how excited I am about next week's Google Next event. Of course, we have a ton of innovation that we're introducing and you'll find in my preview blog down here, everything to be excited about, but I'm most excited about the flurry of customers that are coming forward to share best practices. Here I'm talking about Walmart and their session on Data Lake. I'm talking about Scott of Deutsche Bank, Bob Cyprian of Snap, Rich of Wizard, who I've had the opportunity to prepare with on their best practice for deploying the lake house effectively. And then, of course, my friend Sanjay from Exabeam, who's going to tell you everything you need to know in order to build a data product in 2022 and beyond this concept of real time, massive scalability, limitless workloads and data really a session you're going to want to catch. Of course, there is CNA's insurance story, reduced migration timelines by nearly 50% thanks to repeatable patterns and automation. Lufthansa reduced flight delays and cancellations using ML for wind predictions. And Vodafone's incredible data transformation story. Vodafone, this company that serves 300 million users, 24 countries, over three continents. Anyway, if you haven't registered yet for this event, Click down below. I'm putting the link for you. This is the event of the year if you want to know everything about data, AI, and analytics. Now, a topic that every customer asks me about is this idea around data products. A few weeks ago, we talked about data products being the artifact of the data-driven organization. It is often what the data mesh leads us to, and all of that has been established, and you've given me great feedback on that, great reception on that. The next step is if you're a CDO, CIO, data leader, how should you organize yourself to make it happen? So, well, this week, Eric Broda, a longtime friend of the CarCast, produced a gem of a blog post drawing on as many years of experience in this field. This is the one article, if you only have time for one article, this is the one I think you should read. Um, because it does a great job of describing how to structure a data team and this new concept of producing data products. And it talks about the interactions you should expect this data team to have with producers, consumers, and enabling teams around their organization as well as subsystems. So if you remember Conway's Law, you really kind of are at the mercy of how you organize yourself. And so look that concept up. I think it's very telling on how you should think about what you're becoming as a tech organization servicing this idea of driving value from the data you have. It's not just a concept, it's not just an idea. You have to do now very concrete, pragmatic things uh, in order to make it happen. And one of those things is how you organize your team. So it's not just about the people, but it's the environment that you put your people in so they can perform at their best. All right, so there is a lot in this week's blog down here. Make sure you click on that. Give me feedback on LinkedIn because I put a lot of that for you together this week. I want to thank you for the feedback that you continue giving me about this CarCast series. You know, I just did this uh, over two years ago now, just hoping it'd be one thing. Uh, and now I've been doing it every weekend almost. And you have been amazing in giving me feedback and contributing, frankly, to the content that I share. And so this means a lot to me. It means a lot of the community. Thank you for doing that. I hope you have a great Power Week and I will see you next week.